Welcome to the gap. This is gap. They should have never gave you platform. Y'all know what segment we about to get into. We about to get into the sad Sam. segment. And today, I us talk about this movie right here. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Not so much my lady. Uh, she picked the movie, Kick by it. the way. <laughs> you picked a great movie for me. Not so much for you. Oh, all the shit of Van Jones, too. Alien Ramalas. And I don't see... I, I didn't even know I done seen all the aliens until I, uh, I, I was looking at uh, which um, one this was. And it's been a while since they actually came out with an alien movie. I think the last one was was the Prometheus. Whatever. Don't freaking matter. Right? The only one I haven't seen is the 1979 one. So, yeah. I actually thoroughly enjoy these movies. They're virtually the same. They give you like little Easter eggs and little portions of the previous movie and stuff like that to kind of continue the storyline. But most of the time, the concept. Except for, okay, I, I'm gonna get, I'm getting into the plot. Let me not do that yet. Let me first of all, uh, y'all know I give y'all stats, the cast, and then we get into the plot. So let me give you the stats first. You feel me? Uh, IMDb gave it a seven point two. Rotten Tomatoes gave it an 80%, but the people gave it a 90%. I'm with the people. I mean, Rotten Tomatoes, 80% is kind of a good score, too. IMDb scored a little bit low, so maybe they was funky with some of the IMDb people, but I felt this movie was pretty solid. I was thoroughly uh, entertained, and I was engaged like a mug. You feel me? Uh, like I said, not so much my lady. She found the movie, movie quite boring, which hurt my feelings. Now I ain't gonna vote for her ass. What? <laughs> I'll take that back. I will vote for her if she ran for something. Yeah. Damn. I guess I'm voting with feelings. Damn. Anyway. Uh, let me show y'all this picture right here. Y'all see it. Director, box office, based on blah, blah, blah. Now let's get into the plot. Psych. I, I know, my bad. I'm supposed to give y'all the cast. Here's the cast, y'all. And the acting was cool. Um, I did have a gripe with something. I'm going to talk about it when I talk about the plot. But, uh, Kaylee Spiney. She played Rain. Isabella Merced played K. David John Son. He spelled it. You see how he spelled it too. J O N S S O N. Not John Son. It's John Stan. Nah, this. Hey, it sounds like it's the same as the Kamala Kamala, whatever. You know. What I mean? Anyway, he played Andy. Archie Rannix played Tyler. Elaine Wu played Navarro. Many other actors. The acting was good. Like, the acting, I didn't have no problem with the acting. You feel me? And like I said, plot of the movie, storyline is basically the same. as a group of the travelers going to this ship. I think the, the, I didn't see the very first one. So the one that came out in 1979. So it could have started out that it was on the ship and it was getting his cargo, but all the rest of them is they people come upon this ship, come upon the ship, the alien impregnate one of the people, then bloop, bye out. The alien parasite comes out, becomes a big ass adult within freaking minutes. Like, yeah. Um, this is basically the same thing. The the people from Rain to K. I don't like the whole Andy thing. It was kind of like Andy was an AI robot. He was a weak ass robot. Happened to be a black robot, huh? What y'all trying to say? What y'all trying to say, huh? But then, uh, right when they get to the ship, 
It was another AR robot. Happened to be a white man. Alright? They take his stuff, his programming and stuff, put in Andy. All of a sudden, Andy got confidence. Andy ain't scared of ish. But y'all want to know what else will happen with Andy? Andy became very uh, conniving in for the company and corporation. Which then threw me off too because the people was like, Man, Andy, you ain't about shit. Andy, you ain't about whatever near not damn. It's like, what the? What are y'all talking about? This is a robot. It's the program. You take the program out. He's going back to regular degular Andy. That's scared as hell. And why y'all make the black robot scared as hell? With his original programming. Made him kid-like. And I'm like, bro, he's supposed to be a protector of rain. And my thing was like, her daddy uh, built this robot program. And I'm like, well, when did he finish? Did he finish two weeks ago? Is that when he passed away? Because that's basically, they said rain, daddy passed away. I'm like, but they made it seem like rain, daddy passed when she was hella young. Why hasn't this, this robot AI thing? Gain any intelligence, bro. Still childlike. Then it just pissed me off that I'm like, dude, y'all mad at this robot? Y'all know y'all the programmers, right? No. <laughs> anyway, y'all made them weak. Made the black robot weak, huh? Uh huh. I see what y'all. I see. I see what type of program y'all trying to put in our brain. Anyway. These, uh, from Kay, the Tyler, the Navarro, the rest of the crew, they basically were trying to get off this planet because the planet went into shit, basically, right? And so then, uh, I think it was Rain. She got enough points, right? And then they, they basically jugged her. Soon as she was like, oh, I got enough points to get on the pod and go somewhere else to this other Planet Igvis, what Vagnus, I don't really know what the hell the name was. They were trying to go there. I guess it was Paradise. They were like, it, they, uh, she was like, hey, I got enough points. What's up? She, uh, The lady behind the counter was like, ah, we just changed it 30 seconds ago. Now you need 2,400,000 points instead of 12,000. Just, just like a job. It's like a corporation. Right when you think you hit the threshold, they're like, nah, 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 today, threshold unchanged. Mm. Anyway, uh, yeah, so then Rain went back to her crew and all them, and they were basically uh, saying, like, look, we about to just go on this alien ship. We gonna, not alien ship, my bad. We gonna go on this, uh, well, it was the alien ship, but what? They didn't know it was aliens on there. All they knew that it was like special cargo and stuff like that from one of these so-called military cargo ships. And they was like, we're going to go in there, steal some stuff, steal some of the pods, and we're going to get out of here, be to that planet. They went on there. They ran into a problem. The pod didn't have enough fuel. So they went to the department or somewhere to get the fuel. And this is what I didn't get. They were just, they did the thing and just took out the fuel. And that malfunctioned the whole ship. Everything went to lockdown. They opened up a certain space where all the little mini aliens was at or whatever. And yeah, it just opened up a can of worms. All right. Why did that happen? Why was that the key? That felt like anybody on the ship that, like, that when it was up and running. You take out the fuel and put back in the fuel. I don't know. That that felt kind of forced. But anyway, all that happened. Blasey, blasey. You feel me? And the little alien thing got the Navarro, impregnated her. Blow, blow. You feel me? Uh, And then Andy, with the new program and stuff, was like kind of figuring out how to destroy these things. Most of the time, people try to destroy them with fire. Happens to be, is best to freeze them. 
Ain't that something? Yeah. But that that happened or whatever, and then as you know in alien movies, everybody died, die in gruesome way, the tail thing split open. You feel me? Um another thing was like they had the old captain from one uh, from one of the previous aliens and like it you know that captain was AI and stuff and he was all kind of melted melted and stuff but he was still functional and basically he was still trying to do the best for what's the company and basically what the company was trying to do they were trying to um to me it felt like they were trying to build a bioweapon but they were trying to build something that could regenerate and the thing that was on the ship, I guess they were experimenting with alien shit. Boom! Made the regenerative stuff, and it was there, but they didn't get out alive. So, yeah. Oh, and big money, too. They were, you know. But, uh, yeah, it's like, um... I think the thing that they were trying to get us with, the, like, the little twist... And stuff was like, oh my god. Not gonna lie, it kinda got me. <laughs> they they uh the alien thing impregnated another woman, uh they impregnated K, and K was already pregnant with a baby. And so then what happened was the genes spliced together and stuff, and it made an alien baby man thing. And like the face of the man was still kinda they kinda look like the zombies off blade. Remember? The uh in Blade Three, and they had the ball headed zombies, and it was like they kind of look. It kind of looked like that, but then the body was like hella tall, but disfigured because you know the aliens kind of, and they had the little tail. Yeah, so that was the big. Oh my god! Ah, oh, scary! And it was just like I wasn't scared, but I was like, oh, that's kind of tight how they they spliced them together. And bro was dumbass tall. Bro, it's at least like 20 feet. Mm-hmm. But yeah. That was kind of the end. Uh, they made it seem like Rain destroyed that type of alien. But y'all know through all alien movies, they never get destroyed. And it didn't show clear that that thing got destroyed in space. So who knows? Might have another alien movie. Everybody else died. Even Andy died, the robot. I don't understand why these robots are so weak. I mean, I understand that the alien can smack their head off, but they ain't got no strength to rip a tail off. Use it like a like, king, 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 king. All these ro Anyway. Um, this movie was solid to me. Uh, it was. I just like the alien series. That's what it is. I could see somebody not liking this and thinking this is boring. But I like the Alien series. I always did. I probably always will. Um, I don't know. I find it fascinating. You feel me? Uh, this movie did have its, its flaws, though, which I, I said and spoke about. It did have its flaws. But the way the storyline kind of went and... Just the direction it went in and how I kind of like the Alien series. Uh, it it kind of overcame the flaws. And yeah, this is a long-ass movie. It's two hours. But it didn't feel like two hours. All right. Uh, once again, this is uh, Alien Romulus. Okay. Uh, saw it in theaters. Um, yeah. Watch it if you want. All right.